So today is kind of like a part two video, kind of a part two for those that looked at yesterday's video. And if you weren't here yesterday and you don't know what that video was, it was in regards to a USB webcam that I was going to use to do things like YouTube streaming and be able to use it for all the streaming services and chatting services and things like that. I ended up getting this one because it was a decent price and I'll put a link to that video up here somewhere, whatever that shows up for you guys. What I wanted to show you today and I'm going to kind of be going through it with you guys learning it, I played with it a little bit yesterday, is OBS software which is the open broadcast software and we're gonna we're gonna go through that whole phase right now I'm doing it on a Mac but you guys can do this on a Windows as well let's go through setting this up primarily and we're gonna see how to use simple setup for running dual cams all right so we have the OBS website open here so it's just obsproject.com and nice and simple we're going to just choose what platform we're on to download the software so i'm on mac os so i'm going to click this you'll see that it starts its download now it's not a massive download but it is a hundred and change megs in size now again depending on what system you're running so i'm going to quit this and simply you're going to install that again this is on a mac windows will be a little different here it is. So simply take this icon for me, drag it to the applications, and we are installed. This should nicely show up OBS. So we're gonna click that, and we wanna make sure that any device that you and I are gonna be using for the broadcast or for the stream or whatever is physically plugged in at this point in time. So I'm gonna be using the FaceTime camera on this computer, as well as the webcam as a secondary. We're gonna open this up. Yes, we want to open it. Yes, yes, a whole bunch of yeses. Yes. Specify the desired video settings. Use current base canvas. I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080, and that sounds good. Service, for me, I'm gonna be checking, I'm gonna be using YouTube. So what it needs here is this stream key. What happens is, you have to have, especially for YouTube, you have to have, I believe, an account that is over a thousand subscribers. I could be wrong in that, but it has to have over that to allow for YouTube live streaming. I'm gonna click this link button and it should take me to YouTube and to my dashboard because that's where I'm logged in. And in the bottom here, you'll actually see as you scroll down, there is this stream key. So I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna pop that in there. So you guys don't necessarily get to see this part. So I'm just gonna copy that information. I'm gonna come down to the stream key and I'm gonna hit paste so it pops it in there. Primary server, yep. Estimated bit rate, yeah. Estimate bit rate with bandwidth test. Let's do that. Oh, mine's not gonna let me do that. So we're just gonna keep it at 2,500. I've been watching a few places that say that's kind of a good number, so. Seems fine. Next. Program is now executing a series of tests. Cool, to determine your settings. All right, so the test doesn't take long. It, it literally like 10, 20 seconds. Uh, here you go, program has determined that these estimated settings are best, which I can't really see, but I'm gonna hit apply because if it thinks these are good, we're gonna go with that. But I do see that I have my 1920 in there, which is excellent. It has checked my bit rate. It says that that's fine. I can see that in there and we're going to apply those. This is where we get this screen, which is pretty empty. And I'm going to make this a little bigger here and nice and simple. We have scenes. So scenes at the very bottom in the bottom left hand corner over here is so that we can set up for what we're doing. So if we wanted this to broadcast to YouTube and we we're going to use a single camera, maybe we set it all up for that. So we call this YouTube single camera setup or YouTube multi-camera setup or Twitch setup or whatever that you're using because you may have different setups for it. And maybe depending on where you are, maybe this is like me and this is a laptop. And when I'm here, I have a setup for here. And when I'm downstairs, I have a setup for there. So I can actually just have those preset, which is cool. So we're gonna just set up one. So plus, we're gonna call this YouTube stream. YouTube stream basic, I'll call it basic single, because this will be one camera, basic. So we have that here. Now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna add our devices. 
we're gonna come in here and to get the FaceTime camera running, we're gonna come in and we're gonna do a video capture device and we're gonna call this FaceTime camera. Hit okay, it's gonna come in and say, what is it? And under this device, and this is what threw me off the first time, under device, it's empty. And you're like, there's nothing here. But if you click on it, you'll see the devices. There's the FaceTime camera. Yes, we're gonna allow it. There it is. I don't know, for some reason, it comes up as 1280. And it might be this camera, just that's all it is, is 1280. And we're gonna take this and we have to stretch this out. So we're gonna stretch this out so it fills the whole screen. Now the bonus is if you wanted, you could actually have two cameras in here or you could set up so both both cameras were showing at the same time. It is what it's pulling from. So we have our FaceTime camera in. This, this is your simple setup. If you wanted this, just one camera ready to go, you'll see on the right hand side here, there's studio mode. And this allows you to see what is on your system. So the setup so you can preview it before it goes out. So left hand side is going to be the preview, right hand side is going to be what the world sees. So you can see your transition here, you can click on settings, swap between, sure. Quick transitions, do you want it just a cut? Do you want it to fade? You know, I'm going to just do a cut because I think fades in a live, not that great. But all we would do now is you can do this little settings and you can see all this information show general. Here's your stream, right? It has that information. So if you ever changed uh, output again, if you realize, especially that bit rate, if you realize that it was being a little stuttery, because maybe you're going to test this to see how it works. And you're like, oh no, that's choppy. It's not coming through good. Maybe we want to lower that down. Same with your audio bit rate. Here's your audio. So how it's recorded video, how it's recorded. So base canvas 1920 by 1080. So that's good. So my canvas is being sent out at, at HD, so 1920, so 1080. But I think that was only showing 720 because that is the maximum resolution that the FaceTime camera can do. So that's good. And frames per second, 60. We could lower that down if we wanted. We could even go to make it cinematic. So 24, I'm gonna actually do that, 24 frames. And we can set up some hotkeys so that if you have multiple cameras, you can use keys to move them around if you so chose. We're gonna hit okay here. Now, the other things you can do down here is under your camera, so FaceTime here, if you hit your settings, this is where you could change these if you again needed to. But if you right click on the camera, you'll get even more. So you'll see things here like set color. So clear color, custom color, rename them, order them. If you wanna put deinterlacing on them. Filters, filters could be something. So if you wanted filters, so you could add a filter here. So a compressor, gain, noise gate. This is right video delay. If you realize that there was a syncing delay on there. So all kinds of kind of cool things that you and I can put here, even effect filters. So inside here, you'll have a chroma key, a color correction. Color correction could be cool. And this might be something that I show with the other camera. But a lot of things you can play with in here. So even color correction, I could come up and be like, color correction, sure, one. Okay, and now you'll see my ability to change this to get this exactly the way I kind of want it. So saturation, I can boost that or lower that or hue shift, I could change it around, get it exactly how I want. But a, a lot of cool features, especially if your camera isn't pushing out the images that it wants. So just remember, just a right click and go to your like filters. There's that color correction, play with it. I'm gonna bring those back down again. And even on opacity, if you wanna make it some transparency there. So very cool though. That, that's actually a really cool feature. So we're gonna close that. Now, if you wanted to go here, we'll do another one. So we're gonna do a second one. So we're gonna be called this YouTube dual camera. Okay, you'll see these empty out. This time we're gonna hit the plus, but video capture again. But you'll actually see that we can add an existing because we've set up the FaceTime camera previously. So I can say, just do that one again. And this is okay. I'm gonna stretch it back out again so it fits. We're gonna now come in here and add a second camera. So, same idea, video capture. This time though, we're gonna go webcam. And same idea inside here, USB. Right, there it is. And, and this is a big one, because you'll see USB here. This one here, I'm gonna adjust just a little bit. Bring that down a little bit. Right, there it goes. I find this one's colors not to be great, but we are gonna set this, cool. Okay, same idea, we're gonna pop this down, make it fill the frame. 
Now, what's cool here is whatever camera is on the top is the one that shows up, okay? So you see FaceTime camera up here, webcam down there. Do you want this to be a fade? No, just a cut. And then as I did this transition, so I could be like, and you can see that on the right hand side, there's the one that would be out. Left hand side is what's coming. So I could be like webcam, okay? I can say transition and it fades over, goes back to the other one. Transition, back to the other one. Transition, and this is really cool because if we only have two cameras, it's nice and simple to go back and forth between them because it kind of just fires them in an order. If you want to go outside of order, you actually have to drag them around on the left-hand side here to change the order, but nice and simple. The other thing here though is this color is not matching great, so we're going to go here, webcam, and we are going to go into the filters. It's not bad, but I do think we could play around with some color correction. So webcam color. And I do think we're gonna bring this to make it a little crunchier, like that. Brightness will bring down a tad, just a tad bit. A little bit more saturation. Hue is fine, All right? Maybe just bring that up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that's better. I don't wanna change the hue at all. Close those up. And now we got a side one and a forward one. And that's a nice, easy dual camera setup. So we have cuts between the two and we just literally hit these buttons to fade in between those, to move back and forth between those two. That's super simple. And basically all we'd have to do here is hit start streaming and the streaming would go through that process. So you'll see if we hit it here, click. I don't wanna do anything because it will probably pop it up online. We're not gonna do that yet. And, 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 and just kind of off it goes. Now the other thing you could do in here if you so choose was you could add, and you'll see here's my, my mic, you could add a USB microphone if you so chose to be able to get a better audio source if you wanted to. Here's a little tiny trick for you guys if you so need. I'll just bring this up a little bit so you guys can see that a bit better. The FaceTime cameras or the standard webcams, I guess, that are built into laptops for a lot of times, not overly wide. And you'll see if I have mine up here, I'm barely catching the little monitor behind me and I'm not getting much of the shelf on the other side. I actually just got, I've had one of these for a while, and it's basically one of these little smartphone clamps for a wide angle. So this is just a 0.6. And what's cool about it is you want one with a clamp uh, and not the cheapest, but it doesn't have to be fantastic because this is just a stream. We'll just take this and all we're doing is we're putting it up over the monitor here. Just kind of get it up over your camera. Find that spot right there. Now look how much wider we have. So we get that angled good, right? There's that sun, that light glare back there, just gonna move in front of it. See, that looks, that's nice and white. Now it looks like these two cameras, camera A, camera A, camera B, camera A, camera B. Yeah, way better. Just make sure that if you get a little lens like this for your built-in camera, that it's not complete garbage. Doesn't have to be great, but this one here, I got a whole kit a whole kit of lenses, I think. See it? Just a whole kit like this. And it was, I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. There's a basic of how to use this this software. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just learning it. And uh, as I learn more, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys there. I'll put a link to this little lens thing and a little link to the webcam that I'm using because if you want a cheap, inexpensive, dual camera setup, this is kinda, kinda nice. All right, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe as per the usual, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Later.